dear viewers this is second video in the series of functional safety in automotive ecu manufacturing in this video we will learn the different test methods used to detect errors during manufacturing let's begin in our last video we learned the high level steps in manufacturing in this slide we have shown the different stages in manufacturing along with the different test methods that are used at every stage it starts with SPI, solder paste inspection, AOI, automated optical inspection, AXI, automated X-ray inspection, ICT, in-circuit testing. There is one another method which is flying probe testing and finally functional testing, FT. First method is solder paste inspection. This method checks the solder paste deposits using 3D images to ensure the right amount of paste is applied before sending the board to pick and place process. This test verifies the area of coverage, shape, volume of the solder paste applied over the bare PCB board. Next method is automated optical inspection. As the name says, this uses high definition camera and a computer based vision system for inspection as shown here. This test can be performed at two stages. One after component placement process and second is after reflow process. This method helps to detect missing, misplacement, wrong orientation of components. Image at the bottom left shows the inspection window shown by computer vision system. Image at the bottom right shows wrong orientation of hardware components detected and also correct and wrong soldering in the component next method is axi automated x-ray inspection this is similar to aoi the only difference is this uses x-ray instead of high definition camera this method is mainly used to inspect the ball grid array also called as bga type of ic's where the solder joints are not viewable using camera because the pins are under the ICs. In circuit testing or flying probe testing, this method uses test probes to measure the basic electrical characteristics like open, short resistance, capacitance of the hardware circuit along with the solder components. This uses test points available in the hardware for testing. In this, ICT is based on test probe fixtures specifically designed for a particular PCB board. This fixture to be created every time for a new PCB board. This is majorly done during production of large volume. Flying probe testing is based on few test probes with a robotic arm which fly over all the test points and measure. Mostly this can be reused for any PCB board. This method is suitable for prototype manufacturing where the volume is very less functional testing this method verifies the basic functionality of the product during manufacturing process for example in the instrument panel cluster manufacturing the verification of the led malfunction telltale functionality is done by simulating their can inputs to ensure the hardware circuits like power supply can microcontroller, LED output. Additionally, the uplink, which also have the right symbol meant for the particular feature malfunctions are not impacted during the manufacturing process. This test will be majorly based on customer requirements or acceptance criteria. This will be executed using a diagnostic commands. In slide two, we saw all these test methods are used at appropriate stages in the manufacturing process. Why are all these test methods are required? Any one of these test methods alone cannot detect all the manufacturing errors. The table on the right side explains the defect type, which method can detect it and which cannot detect the error. For example, AOI cannot detect the BGA type of IC's soldering defects or soldering quality. This requires AXI. AOI, AXI cannot detect the incorrect or faulty hardware components. 
this requires ICT or FBT. Hence, combining multiple test methods together will give greater coverage of detection of manufacturing errors. We have covered the basic steps in the manufacturing and the basic tests performed in every stages of manufacturing in the first two videos. In our upcoming video, we will learn about the activities like process flow, PFMEA, control plan, end of test, hardware component test coverage that are performed during manufacturing to prevent or to detect and mitigate failures. Thank you.